What's up, guys? It's James Disciple Johnson, and this is another episode of Fiery Foods. And I'm here with Travis Gas Can Gibson because he's going to be cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. And this is what's going to happen right here. We're going to make some chicken. See, that's what the chicken looks like. And after we eat the chicken, we're going to heat the chicken first. And so when we heat the chicken, what are we going to make? We are going to make green curry soup. Green curry soup? I love green curry soup. Are we really? We are. What goes in green curry soup? Green curry soup has green curry, basil, onions, tomatoes, ginger, all those wonderfully, beautifully Thai spices. And we're going to make a delicious chicken soup out of it. Oh, look at there's some ginger. Fresh ginger. So we're gonna film what happens when Travis makes green curry soup. So what are you cutting, Gas Can? I'm chopping fresh cilantro. Oh, see? So what are you cooking? I am cooking green curry soup this evening for dinner. Very good, what are you chopping? We are chopping fresh cilantro from our fresh supermarket down the road called Thrifties. Chopping that, and then it's going with some scallions and some more fresh herbs. And we're just what do you got here? Got some snow peas there, some minced ginger, diced onions and garlic, a little bit of chicken stock that we made earlier in the week, uh, green curry paste, about a pound and a half of fresh chicken, and coconut milk. And all of that is going to make some very delicious green curry soup. Well, you all know I like to uh, sample the ingredients. So we have some cilantro. Tastes like cilantro. We have some green curry. It's, um, it's a bit slimy. There we go. So we're going to try a big dab of that. Mm. Wow. That is spicy. <laughs> It's spicy. And then we've got some uh, garlic here. Love minced garlic. What's the spicy bit? Oh, no, that's ginger. That's ginger, yeah. Mm. Itself is ginger. This bit. What's and it? A little the cream curry powder. Cool, yes! So My mouth is on fire. Is it wasabi? No. Then we, of course, have the peas. So these are snow peas cut up. So I'm curious to see how this green curry is going to turn out. So it's definitely going to be different than green curry I've had in the past. Mm. But on the other hand, it may be wrong. Maybe it's the same thing. Only time to tell. So do you think you could make me like a little mix of uh, green curry, ginger, and that's a lot. Tis. And garlic? Absolutely. Okay. I'll happily oblige you that, sir. So this is garlic. That's a lot of ginger. That's ginger, yes. And uh, then some garlic. <clears throat> We're going to put this on a cracker, I guess, is probably the safe way to do this. Yes. So I've got export sodas over here. This is uh, my big can of export sodas. What are export sodas? They're these. Ain't nothing but a cracker thing. So we're going to get a couple of these. And uh, see how this works. Back to gas can with the. Did you add butter to it? No. I added a, just a half a shot of uh, whiskey. Yes. Yes, whiskey. Half a shot of what? Uh, chicken stock. Okay. Just to make it, loosen it up a little bit to be able to make it into a paste. Okay, let's, let's just put it on these crackers here. Seriously. The more. will not be pleasant. It will not. It will not. No. That green curry paste is uh, spicy. Extremely spicy. But I like spicy. Mm. What do you taste first? Cracker. Cracker? So yes, a very biscuity cracker. And then <laughs> spice. Green spice. curry spice. Yes. I should start sweating actually at some yeah. point. I can feel it coming out in my it's forehead. It's like a horseradish spice. Burns mm -hmm. out of your nose. Well. 
cracker number two. So again, green curry, uh, garlic, and ginger. My forehead is tingling. Yes, I see this. How is it? Amazing. Amazing? It tastes earthy. I used to use it a lot. And. Hmm. Spicy. Gingery. Yeah, the ginger itself has a little spice to it if you use enough in it. Mm. Wow. That's good. Tell us what you're doing. All right, so we've got the chicken that we're making our chicken green curry soup with. Uh, we did a little bit of olive oil and butter in the pan, and the reason we do that is that the butter has a lower smoking point than the oil does, so we add oil to our butter as well to keep it from smoking and keep it from burning. So oil butter mixed with chicken. Yes, correct. We have a cooking with gas emergency. What happened, gas can? I'm not quite sure. I went to go turn on the garbage disposal, and it started spitting it out the other sink, and now our sink is clogged. Great. But Nemo's on it. We have a guy. And what's in what's in the uh, ooh. lettuce? Mm. Yeah. Well, let's go look at what's in. Is this cooked? It's oh, mostly yes, cooked. Yes. yes. Indeed. So indeed. what we have here is we sweated down our onions and our garlic and threw our chicken in there that we previously sautéed. Uh, a little bit of spices. We did a little bit of curry, salt, pepper, and just a little bit of paprika. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to get that heated back up. And so then, is this cooked? Yes, the chicken is cooked. Okay. Yes. Mm. Oh, this is yummy. It's yummy. Delicious. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start slowly oh, adding in our ingredients. I'm eat the chicken. Oh, don't eat all the chicken. Oh. Mm. All right, go ahead. All right, so we've got our onions and our garlic sweated down. Uh, our sautéed chicken's already gone in. It's been seasoned lightly. And then we went in with our cilantro and our green curry paste. And then next we're going to go in with our coconut milk. You want me to take it off the fire? No, no, let it go. Let it go. You want to get it nice and piping hot before you add in the coconut milk because you want that coconut milk to, to reduce in it. So, whole can of coconut milk. Wow, this is good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to give that a good stir, get all those flavors mixed in there, and then we're going to let that sit, come to a nice boil. We're going to let it simmer and reduce down to about a half of what it is now. Release all those flavors and all of those ingredients all into it. That's spicy. Yes, it is. And in the middle of making green curry, <laughs> Zip Tie shows up from Illinois. Woo! Woo! Cooking right. with gas! Cooking with gas! That's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you know if we're going to eat this green curry, so we have to do the taste test. So let's see what time it is here. So this is the green curry soup stock. It is a uh, slight green color. It's more yellow than green, I would say. Definitely has that warm coconut flavor. Mm. Oh man, that's thick. It's juicy. It's spicy. It is. Uh, it's buttery. Very buttery. Did you put butter in that? I did, in fact, put butter in it. Oh man, it's buttery. You can take the boy out the country, but you can't take the country out the boy. Mm. That's pretty darn good. Matter of fact, I might have. This is completely sanitary because it's boiling. Completely. Yes. It's so spicy. I love it, but it's not spicy like chilies. It's spicy like ginger and ginger and jalapeno. Maybe. Did you put jalapeno? In? I did this wonderful. Mm. A little spice that we got from the store. Oh. Dried jalapeno. Mm. 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 I would say that this is a lot like Indian curry that I've eaten. Very much like there's the chicken, the curry, different vegetables. Oh, man. I got a bed for you right in here. Yeah, so good. Is it delicious? It's delicious. Awesome. Let me have some more. So what are you doing now? I am finishing stirring the soup and then we're gonna drop the rice noodles down and cook the rice noodles. The soup is looking amazing. The soup is done. The soup has been reduced. Coconut milk is reduced, added the chicken broth to it. 
Now it does look absolutely delicious. The smells absolutely phenomenal. Now what we're dun 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 da We are unboxing these noodles. These noodles are rice noodles. It says Bung Gao Chow Ching Pasta. That's what it says, right? That's exactly what it says, yes. So, Bung Gao. Bung Gao. Right. So these are rice noodles. Hard, very hard to open, like very right hard to open. Yes. This is the uh, really probably the hardest part of cooking is yes. opening these noodles. Yes. A knife does make it easier. It does, in fact. I really don't want you to open these. Chinese engineering. These are very small noodles. Very small. Very small noodles. They taste just like noodles. And now, as you know, it's very important that I taste the soup. Oh, it's much, uh, it's a whole lot thinner now. Yes. What did you pour in here? What? Yes, that was the uh, chicken broth. Went chicken into broth. It. Okay, yes. chicken broth. Okay. Yes, so you add the coconut milk to it, um, and you let the coconut milk come to a nice boil. And you let it simmer and let it reduce to about half of what it was. Um, and then what you do is you add your <clears throat> chicken stock little by little. <laughs> and so continue yummy. infusing those flavors. Definitely so, taste the coconut milk. Um, definitely taste the chicken broth. The butter. Now, what kind of recipe are you using to do this? I'm using a recipe that I got from a very close friend of mine. Um, and my chef and my mentor is Francisco Ayala. He gave me this recipe, Lord, two, two years ago, and I have yet to actually use it. This is actually the first time I've ever created this. Well, it tastes absolutely wonderful. I love the ginger notes, the green curry. Oh, so good. So these are the plates of the green curry soup. Rice noodles, green curry, chicken, absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Moist, succulent, tender chicken. It's getting close. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the test. This is the green one for you. I need a bigger spoon, really. Mm. First, spice. Second, coconut. You guys are just sitting there like... Jack. You guys have no idea. They're talking. They're talking. They're talking. <laughs> They'll learn once they've been here for a while. Right. The noodles are very light. Mm. Let's see if we can drink some of this broth here. Mm -hmm. Let me get up on that. Mm. Oh, look at that. You got any... Mm. Amazing. Mm. It is spicy, but it's not like hot pepper spicy. It's more like ginger. Mm -hmm. And mm, that green curry. I would give this about a, a three or four of spiciness. Okay. Now, as a comparison to authentic green curry soup from the Philippines. No. But we're not really expecting that, though. You know? This is more like Indian buffet green curry. Ooh, okay. Butter. Sweet. Um, this is more, I would say, of Indian food style green curry. Okay. Mm. Also, it would have to be rice, I would say, if it's Thailand. Right. Mm. But, absolutely, some fiery food. Say that again. This is definitely some fiery food. This is um, pretty much exactly like James said. It's um, it's like Indian, mm. Indian curry. Um, it does have some spice. <coughs> when the noodles go down the wrong hole, it hurts. 
but otherwise, mm, so good. What I like about it, there's several different flavors. So it's not just green curry. It has the ginger, it has the garlic, it has a lot of good flavors in it. I like how the noodles are well cooked. You know, they're not, I'm not sure what the word is, is it al dente? Is that what it is? You can say yes, gas can. Yes, gas can. <laughs> our intrepid filmer today, our cameraman today, is Disciple Gas Can. Mm. And you cook them with gas. But that being said, the chicken is the chicken is well cooked. I really like how it's got some toothiness to it, but it's also got a ton of flavor in every bite. Sometimes whenever I cook chicken, because I'm not a cook, it's bland on the inside, but it has spice on the outside. Yeah. This is well done throughout. Mm, so, so good. Mm, that chicken is good. It is really good. That's mm. Yeah. And um, what are these, um, what is this here? Is this the, uh, is this the, what, what is this? Snow peas. Snow peas. It was for the just put that behind Yeah. Look at Yeah. That was fire, that was good. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. That is just wow. That is awesome. So here we are. We've made the green curry soup. Well, we did not. No. You made the green curry I soup. I did. I did it. And it was it. very good. Uh, I'm definitely going to give it a thumbs up. Awesome. Kink? You gotta stick your thumb in here, dude. There it is. <laughs> Awesome. Thumbs up. It was very good. Nice. I enjoyed it. Glad you guys enjoyed it. It was nothing like the one I, I ate in uh, Thailand. But it was very good. Awesome. And spicy. And I love the ginger. Well, it's tasty, right? It is tasty. Very tasty. Well, guys, I'm James Disciple Johnson, National President and Founder of Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. End of this video now. And search for James Disciple Johnson and Disciple Christian Motorcycle Club. Go to DiscipleChristianMC.com, learn about what we do, read the blogs, watch the videos, buy a t-shirt, support the ministry, and no, you can't have any of this because this right here. Mm. <sighs> Motor oil beard balm. What is this biker thinking about while he strokes his beard? I wonder if she'll notice that I bought the eight hangers. Not if she smells that motor oil beard balm, she won't. Tested by bikers. Love by ladies. Motor oil beard balm. Motor Oil Beard Balm. 13 all-natural, all-organic ingredients to make your beard grow faster and stronger. Available at DiscipleChristianMC.com If you enjoyed this video, make sure you see all the awesome free content we put out by rotating your device and clicking the red icon to follow our channel. God bless you. Thanks for watching.